you gone from uh, a participant to a host. Is that a big change? It is. I mean, uh, when I was competing, I was just in the competition for one week. <laughs> and now I'm in for six weeks. So it's a huge difference. It's also to be on the other side presenting. And I mean, I'm nervous being a, being a host as well. It's a, it's a different kind of... How do you say it? Ner ner nervousness? Yeah. <laughs> I was really nervous when I was competing, but this is this feels bigger actually because you're you're in the ride for six weeks and you have to recharge your batteries every week and yeah, so it, it's a huge responsibility and a huge honor to, to be the host. You received quite a lot of praise actually if really? you read the newspapers and um, for people around here. How do you feel about that? I haven't read anything. Um, but if that's the case, I'm really happy. I was prepared for the for the worst when I said yes to this job. So I'm just really, really happy. And oh, I, I love doing this. And if people like what I do, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. If you just explain to non-Swedes, why is it so special to host Melody Festival? I mean, it has become one of the biggest things we have here in Sweden. Uh, it's the biggest TV show we have. And uh, I mean, it's, uh, people um, before they present the hosts every year. It's a lot of like they, they, the papers are like writing who's going to be the host and everything. So so it's a lot of speculation every year. So um, I don't know. It has become a huge um, huge job to get here, it's, uh, especially if you're in TV and everything. And it means a lot to do this. So it has become a big big. big. And finally, do you think that you will ever participate again and perhaps go to the Eurovision Song Contest? I would love to. It's still a dream. Um, I loved competing in 2009, so um, I would love to do it again. When, as soon as I find the right song, I would send it in and I hope, cross my fingers to be part of the competition once again. Good luck with that. Thank you.